Hey everybody, do you like to do outdoor activities like paddling, biking, and skiing? Well, rooftop racks for your car make it easy for you to carry your toys and gear virtually anywhere now. Two companies that are leading the industry are Yakima and Thule. I just got the latest crossbars by Yakima. They're not cheap, but if you do a lot of outdoor activities, it pays for itself pretty quickly. I'm just going to install them and give my initial impression after testing the rack. Afterwards, I'm going to do a road trip of canoe fishing because that is my ultimate goal after all. Thanks for watching, folks, and let's see how this goes. These are the components I got from my car roof rack from Yakima. The crossbars, jet stream, this is the base that connects the bars, and under the base, depending on which model car you have, you might need base clips. So these are the base clips for the front and the back of my car. If you don't mind following instructions of say like an IKEA catalog, I'd say this is kind of similar. Yakima provides an instruction booklet and one of the most important things I just want to show you out of the booklet is go to fitlookup.yakima.com and you can choose your car model and it'll give you the dimensions and so these are probably the most important numbers you want to get down. This shows the pitches in which there's three settings to choose from, A, B, or C, for the front and the back bar. I don't want to get too complicated, but these are settings that you want to think about as you put your project together. I know it looks daunting, but don't let it sway you. Do it yourself, just follow the instructions. It's like playing a puzzle, right? So I'm just putting the adapter that will fit this base to the crossbars. And there's these measurements centered a crossbar on the top. Well, the crossbars are all assembled and it looks pretty good. Make sure you screw on all parts as firmly as possible. Notice the direction of the crossbar wing shape. The rounded, thicker part is facing forward. In this case, the front of the car is to the right. That direction gives you optimal jet streaming, the least wind resistance and noise. After the bars are in place, you can add the accessories of your choice. This is the fun part, deciding what to put on your car, like a rooftop box, a bike rack, or in my case, canoe brackets are what you see here. Okay, the boat's on the car. What do you think? It's balanced well. Nice support. I think I'll be good on the road. Here's the real test. I'm gonna drive to a lake. It's pretty good. I like it. It's passing the test as low noise. And that also affects, you know, your gas mileage also. Well, the boat made it fine. No shaking. I'm glad the boat didn't fall off the car. Here I am at the lake, ready to do some paddling and fishing. Stay tuned as I will give you my review of the car rack afterwards. Oh my god! Oh! I was cranking pretty rapidly, and this guy really wanted it. Lovely, lovely. Not big. I love when they fight. The younger they are, the faster they fight. Got the message. The bass wanted to jump out. Here, you stay a little longer. Little did he know that the bucket isn't a bigger bucket, a canoe. This bass keeps jumping out. He's feisty. Yes, yes, yes. What is it? It is a nice big white perch. I like you guys. You always like to play. Yeah, oh, that's nice. Nice and easy. Pretty good. Love white bass, aka white perch. 
can fillet that guy and uh, put him on the grill. Tastes real fine. It is a white bass. Come here, come here. Nice. Uh huh. Oh. Okay. You got yourself loose. That's the one I just caught. Yeah, six and a half inches. Beautiful bass. Please, 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 please. Oh, it's fighting nicely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It totally swallowed. <laughs> I can't get it close. <laughs> Come on. Yes. Yes. Oh, man. Oh, man. Nice bass. Got it free. That's what I used. She's a beauty. Lovely bass. When using a roof rack for transporting watercrafts, remember to tie down your boat to the front and the back of the car, especially if your boat is very long and or heavy. It gives that extra security while driving on the road. Thanks for watching my video of installing the new Yakima Rack Jetstream crossbars, including the canoe brackets. I'm happy I was able to get the canoe to my location, pretty sturdy very happy with it. Uh, as far as fishing, it was a good day of bass fishing. Now I can go to lakes and rivers and other bodies of water. So here's some pros and cons about the uh, jet stream crossbars. Under pros, the first one would be that the bars are streamlined, creating less resistance and better mileage, especially if you go long distance and you won't hear that whistling noise when you drive with say like the round or square bars. Next, Number two is they're made of aluminum, so they won't rust like the previous versions of crossbars that Yakima made. Three, aesthetically, if this concerns you, uh, the bars look sharp. I like that. And as far as cons, first one is you have to follow the instructions carefully and be patient. Because there's so many variations, so many different cars to put the bars on, it's recommended to go to their website and find out what car you have and there's already numbers and dimensions that are made out for you so follow carefully on the Yakima website and write them down on the first page of your instruction booklet and the second con I would say again they're aluminum yeah they don't rust but they're not quite as strong as steel steel is much stronger so those are the square and round bars that Yakima had made uh, they still make them 
But the point I want to make is, if you happen to have one of those tents that you put on top of your car, um, the aluminum, I don't think, will cut it. Um, not quite strong enough. So those are the pros and cons of the jet stream. As far as my uh, fishing road trip, it was pretty good. Just an afternoon, I wanted to test the crossbars out, see how they felt on the road, how they sounded. All pretty good. I would give the bars 4 out of 5 stars. It's a really well engineered piece of equipment and now you can do so much more with your crossbars. You can take all your toys and gear basically anywhere now. And just enjoy the outdoors. I want to thank all my viewers for your support. I appreciate it very much. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please press the like button. And we'll see you next time on my Outdoor and Nature channel. Beautiful kite. I think I'll grab it. String is going to be stuck in there. Ah! Look at that. Look at that. That's pretty nice. That's a keeper. If I don't catch any fish today, I got a kite.